Well, my friend Alyssa gave me a new purse for my birthday, and I thought it would be perfect timing to share with you a few tips, tricks, and systems that I use to keep my purse organized and orderly. Welcome to my house. My name is Sage, for those of you who don't know me, and this is my channel, where I like to share with you things that I enjoy, like cooking and organizing, as well as a few things here and there about my rural mountain lifestyle. So come on in and let's see what we can get up to today. Do you hate it when you're rummaging around your purse and you cannot find what you're looking for? It's usually a sign that I have too much crap in my purse. That's exactly what happened to me this one time that my boss and I went to San Diego for this class and my pen died in the middle of the class and everyone's staring at me because I cannot find my pen. And my purse is so stuffed I'm making so much noise. My boss was giving me a side eye y'all. <laughs> Sorry Russ that you were though. So anyways, I swore I would never um, you know, have that problem again. And one of the best things that I found to help is just to be realistic about what you're putting in your purse. Most of us have a habit of just stuffing everything in a purse that we think we might need. And you really don't need everything you think that you might need. There's other ways to have those things at hand without having to put it in your purse. So basically only put in your purse what you're actually going to use. I think medicines are probably one of the biggest offenders that I see all the time. Uh, one time I saw this lady with an entire sleeve of cold medicine, 12 doses. You're probably not gonna use 12 doses in an entire year. Why do you need to carry it around in your purse? You don't need to carry an entire pharmacy with you. I just reuse this mint container and I cut up single doses. Like I'll just cut them right around the packages so they fit and I have a little bit of everything but I don't have a lot of everything. That saves space in my purse. I don't want to carry that around and you don't really need to. Another thing that I don't carry around are things that I have in other places. I don't generally use tissues so I don't take them with me unless I have a cold. I keep them in my car. I'll add them to my purse if I'm gonna be somewhere that my car isn't. I have two videos I'll leave a link for it in the description box below for car preparedness and car organization and that way you can see a few ideas about a few things you can keep in your car and not in your purse. Another thing that I don't like to have in my purse are two tools for the same job. Instead of having both hand sanitizer and hand wipes, I just have an antibacterial hand wipe. And that allows me to not only carry less, but to save space. Did you know that the average woman today has seven purses at a time? That's a lot of purses. One of the best ways I've found to help keep my purse organized is to divide and conquer. What do I mean by that? I mean, you need to separate your items and keep them separated. First thing I do when I get into purses, is I separated my most used items from my least used items. And then I contain them in little pouches like these. It can be the same color, the same size, it doesn't matter. I suggest that if you're using the same color, then have different textures so that you can easily identify what you're looking at. That's the whole point. You're gonna separate things into categories. And that way you can just immediately see it in your purse and pull it out. And that helps me know that, you know, if I have it, it's good, the item, it's gonna be in this spot or not. This is my tech office bag. So if I am looking for a tech item, it's gonna be in this bag or it's nowhere else in my purse. You can also add and subtract items from your pouches as needed. Like if I need a battery bank that day, I can just add it to my pouch. I also have this bag here. I call it my ladies bag. And primarily I keep mostly makeup in it. And if you're really into makeup, you could totally go with a bigger bag. That's what's awesome about the systems. You can make it as big or as little as you want. And I do suggest that if you aren't really into super into makeup, but you want to carry a variety of colors with you to get a palette that has a bunch of different colors in it that matches mostly what you wear. And it just saves space and you don't have to put in and out different powders or, um, uh, eyeshadows you just keep it with you wherever you go and then I also keep other kinds of like you know makeup basics in here you know it's not like rocket science just makeup right and don't laugh at my ziploc bag over my deodorant because I work in the desert one of my jobs and it can get like 124 and that seriously it will melt your deodorant you know just that that's just a mess you don't want like no joke you don't want that mess I also keep my uh, makeup brushes in a little bag my makeup brush my eyeliner that kind of thing so that way it doesn't get all over the inside of my makeup bag and I'm not having to clean up any kind of big messes 
Another thing that I keep in here are my feminine products. And what's nice about the, having them in this one bag is that it's nice and discreet. I can take this whole bag right with me to the bathroom, which is awesome because I often work with men or if you're in a public situation, you don't want everybody to know your business. You know what I'm saying? You just want to get in and out. And then you have the excuse of having makeup. My next bag that I have is actually a purse and I use it as my wallet. It's a whole purse, but I use the purse as my wallet. And I like this one because I can take it out and just walk into the mall or the store if I don't want to carry my whole purse and I have everything I need right in it. It sits in the front of my bag and it's easy for me to see everything that I have in it. And it just makes it a lot easier if you don't want to lug around a whole big old purse, you know? And inside of it, I have this little pouch and it carries like my credit cards and my gift cards in case I'm going into a, you know, a store um, that I, you know, applies to the gift card. Inside, I also have a little um, poly envelope that holds all of my insurance information and some stamps. And then I have my, you know, store cards, you know, those little cards that you get points on or whatever discounts from. And I have a coupon for like one of my favorite restaurants, you know, just basic little things that you might need, but you don't use often is what I keep in here. I prefer to pay for things with cash because I like to use the envelope system and not literally envelopes, but it's called the envelope system when it comes to my budgeting. And so I keep it in here. It's nice and easy to grab and I can easily keep it in order and see it so I can get in and get out of the line and I'm not holding anybody up. And I also just have a few other little basics in there so I can be on my way. I like to keep my most used items in the most easy to access spots. Now, what do I mean like that? I have a purse here that happens to have a bunch of pockets. Now, that makes it super easy for separating things because I can keep items that I use all the time in one pocket and items that I don't use very often in another pocket. Like up here in the front, I keep my wallet and in the, um, in the back, I keep the items. Remember that pile that was like the least used items? That's where I keep them, but they're all in one spot. And because all of my least used items are in one spot, that leaves the other couple of pockets open for my most used items. So that way I can make it in one in and one out grab. I'm not having to push around all this other stuff to find what I access every day. It's all in just easy, an easy space to get into. It's a one in and one out process. Well, that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you find these tips useful, and don't forget that it's totally customizable. Use what you need for y what you have. I hope you liked this video. If you did, would you please give it a thumbs up? And if you want to see more videos like it, consider subscribing. And feel free to share it on all of your social media, and join me on mine. I would totally love to see you there. Well... Thanks for stopping by my house. I'll see you next time.